Problem number four reads, two masses move toward one another on a frictionless air track. A 200 gram mass moves to the right with a speed of 70 centimeters per second, while a 300 gram mass moves to the left at a speed of 50 centimeters per second. After colliding, the 300 gram mass is found to be moving to the right with a speed of 22 centimeters per second. What is the velocity of the 200 gram mass? Let's take a look at those masses on an air track. Here are our masses. They approach one another, they collide, and then go off. The air track is a device which allows these masses to ride on a cushion of air so that the frictional force on the masses is practically eliminated. We are told that the original velocity of the 200 gram mass is 70 centimeters per second to the right. The 300 gram mass has a velocity of 50 centimeters per second to the left. After the collision, the 300 gram mass has a velocity of 22 centimeters per second to the right, and the question is to find the velocity of the 200 gram mass after the collision. All right, that is the problem. Try to solve that problem now, applying the conservation of momentum to this system before you watch its solution. Mass 1 of 200 grams has a, an original velocity of 70 centimeters per second to the right. M2 of 300 grams has an original velocity of V2, 50 centimeters per second to the left. I have indicated that this 50 centimeters per second is negative, the negative sign meaning that it is moving to the left. The original momentum of this system would be M1V1 plus M2V2, and if I carry out that calculation, I would have 200 grams times 70 centimeters per second plus 300 grams times minus 50 centimeters per second. This gives 14,000 gram centimeters per second minus 15,000 gram centimeters per second for a total of minus 1 thousand gram centimeters per second. That's the original momentum of the system. After the collision, M1 has an unknown velocity V1 prime and M2, the 300 gram mass, has a velocity of 22 centimeters per second to the right. The final momentum after the collision is then M1V1 prime plus M2V2 prime, and if I calculate that, I would have 200 grams multiplied by V1 prime, which is unknown, plus 300 grams multiplied by 22 centimeters per second. According to the conservation of momentum, this final momentum must be equal to the original momentum, so all of this must be equal to the original minus 1,000 gram centimeters per second. So I want to solve this equation for V1 prime. V1 prime then is equal to minus 1,000 
gram centimeters per second. And if you multiply the 300 grams times the 22 centimeters per second, you get 6,600 gram centimeters per second. And if I move it over to the other side of the equation, it becomes minus 6,600 gram centimeters per second. And I have to divide all this by the 200 grams. I have then all together V1 prime minus 1000 minus 6600 is minus 7600 gram centimeters per second. I divide that by 200 grams and the result that you get is minus 38 centimeters per second for V1 prime. So, the velocity of the 200 gram mass after the collision, 38 centimeters per second. The negative sign indicates that it is moving to the left. That's the solution to problem number four. We move on then to problem number five.